How's it going, everybody? Duff of Smoke, welcome to the show. If you guys checked out my Instagram earlier, as in last Monday, you guys will know we are checking out the Cornelius and Anthony Venganza Silencer. This came very highly recommended. Uh, I bought this from Anstead's Tobacco. There will be a link in the description down below. You guys can pick these up. I've had a couple of Cornelius and Anthony's before. Always been pleasant. This is going to be a little milder than my typical smoke, but I'm pretty excited. The uh, flavors are supposed to be pretty good in this one. As always, this is brought to you by Hellfire Smokers Club. You can find them on Facebook or on Instagram at Hellfire Smokers Club. If you guys are looking for a club but you want to start hanging out with people that smoke cigars and pipes and talk shop, feel free to check them out. Pretty nice people. A lot of jokes. Don't take themselves too seriously. So, seems to be a pretty good time so far. All right, let's just jump into this. I will start by saying today is a scorching 46 degrees here in South Korea. The probably the hottest day I've had since I've been here. The sun is in my eyes. Filming this in the late afternoon. Figured a good way to polish off my day of hard work. Tasty cigar. I would also like to thank the tiny Korean lady. Did not believe me when I said what I wanted for a haircut and decided to remove the sideburns. Thank you. Little Korean lady. All right. So, start out looking at the wrapper here. Can I get the sunlight on it? All right, look at that. Eh, there's a cloud. I apologize. There we go. All right. So, you can see this has a nice light earth color. Very smooth. It doesn't have any of the bumps on the wrapper like I've seen in previous cigars. This is an Ecuadorian wrapper. So, uh... Very smooth. Um, I do see a lot more stems than I've seen in previous cigars. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. It's just kind of a surprise that there's this much stem forward, I guess, on the wrapper. I also really like their labels. I'm trying to get down here in the... There we go. So they have a lot of filigree. It's kind of a classic uh, label text. Kind of reminds me of like the Western days or something like that. Very pretty. All right. So, labels off. Yep. Cap construction is very nice. Nice clean lines on it. And then the foot. I think this is kind of why, I, the way I stored it kind of gave it a little bit of a box press look. I'm not supposed to be like that. Um, I did have to transport all of my cigars from North Carolina to Korea, and not all of them made the trip safely. So luckily this one has survived in relatively good condition. So as you guys saw in the post, I'm still testing the Calibri V-Cut. I have loved this thing so far. I don't know why I waited so long to finally acquire one. Um, it has been a workhorse. The cuts have been Clean, consistent, I haven't had any problems with the breakage. And old trusty, gonna be using the Blazer Micro Torch. Excuse me, Pocket Micro Torch. I guess it was a different other larger Micro Torch that's not a pocket size, I don't know. Okay, so. All right, well let's do this. Uh, being that I do have both the Calibri and the Zycar V-Cut, I will say that the Zycar uh, isn't, as, isn't as deep. So if you are looking for a little more of a shallow cut, the Zycar is probably what you're looking for. Because you can see this cut went all the way down to like the bottom of that band. Didn't break the cap, but it's right there. This is also probably one of the cleanest cuts I've seen so far working with this cutter. No cracks on the wrapper at all. There's nothing inside. Um, sometimes when you do a cut, you get like little chunks of tobacco. Usually I'll like dab my finger, roll it across like that, but I got nothing comes out. So nice clean cut. All right, do a test draw. Let 
The only real flavor I'm pulling from the initial draw is on the lips where my lips have touched the wrapper itself, a little bit of oil. Uh, it's familiar, but I can't place it. Um, as far as flavor overall goes, I'm getting a little bit of sweetness, uh, almost like a fruity taste. We will see how that translates once we get this lit. As always, do the 90, toast her up like a marshmallow. And then I'm going to do a 45 for the draw. Draw is really easy. Um, I do have a fairly large surface area here, but even still, as you feel the cigar, it's not rock hard, pretty firm. But the draw, I think, actually surprises me a bit as far as the the ease with which I was able to draw. So, draw is smooth. I like the mouth feel. It's got a pretty robust smoke. You can see it coming off there a little bit. Definitely not a full body. Um, the the smoke has a thinner quality compared to like the black label that I smoked a couple weeks ago or the diesels that I've had that I normally smoke on the side. Still good. Flavor, pepper, very forward with the pepper, which I like. It's nice. It fills the entire mouth. The animal cracker I smoked last week, I went to taste kind of the back of the tongue. This, I feel it through the sides of my cheeks across the tongue itself. I don't have the sweetness or the, the fruitiness that I noticed on the, uh, the initial draw before I lit it. We'll see if it develops at all. Maybe it was the initial light, just didn't catch it just yet, but we'll see how that goes. What up? The shop? Smoking a cigar, what's up? Where's lodging at? Yeah, I'll make it happen. Yeah, give me like uh, like 10 minutes, wrap us up, and I'll be over there. Okay, later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the boss has called and I actually have to go, which sucks because I just lit this cigar. However, I will do another post on Instagram tonight. I will do another video tomorrow, so there will be an additional video uploaded. I'm hoping I can get it. Jesus. I'm hoping I can get it up before Friday stateside. It might not be up until Saturday morning. I have to apologize. You know, I am in the army, and sometimes you just got to do other more important things, which is unfortunate. This cigar is going to be a good cigar, but check me out on Instagram at Duff of Smoke. There will be a link down below. Subscribe to the channel, even though this video isn't a very good representation of the channel in general. We're here talking about cigar culture content, reviews, insight, all sorts of good stuff there. If you have any comments, throw them down below. Find me on Instagram. Send me a DM over there. And like I said, on Instagram, I'll post my next review tonight. I'll have a new video up. Check tomorrow. Check the Instagram today to see the review I'll be doing. I'm going to use some different gear. I'll bring the Zycar back in and see if I can get my other lighter working. If not, then we'll go with the old trusty Blazer. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Adios, ladies and gentlemen.